This Friday, September the 17th, we celebrate the feast of St. Robert Bellarmine. He lived from 1542 to 1621 and was perhaps the most influential counter-Reformation theologian. His studies clarified the doctrine of the church in those three centuries between the time of the Council of Trent, 1545 to 63, and the Second Vatican Council, 1962 to 65. Born in Montepulciano in Tuscany, he was the nephew of Pope Marcellus II, and at an early age, his brilliance was already recognized. He entered the young Jesuit order in 1560 and was ordained a priest in 1570. His systematic studies of theology had already begun at Padua in 1567, where his teachers were adherents of Thomism. Then his studies took him to Leuven, present-day Belgium, where he developed a reputation as professor and preacher. And a principal subject in Leuven for him was the Summa Theologica of St. Thomas Aquinas. After a few years, he was appointed in 1576 as professor of, quote, controversial theology, unquote, at what is now the Pontifical Gregorian University in Rome. This was a position established by St. Ignatius himself. Robert's lectures at this Roman college were the basis for his celebrated three-volume work, quote, Disputations on the Controversies of the Christian Faith Against the Heretics of This Age, unquote. This comprehensive work, Father McBrien points out, like his other writings and lectures, were never marked by personal animosity or severity. He seemed able always to separate an opinion from the person holding it, and he prayed daily for his opponents. Public controversies also would mark the life of Bellarmin, notably involving the heretic Bruno, King James I of England, and the scientist Galileo. In 1597 98, he published Catechisms in two versions, which became the official teaching of the Catholic Church from the 17th to the 19th century. In time, having also served as provincial, Jesuit provincial of Naples, he was recalled to Rome to serve as the Pope's theologian. And in 1599, after appointment as a cardinal, Pope Clement made him a cardinal inquisitor, in which capacity in 1600 he served as one of the judges at the trial of Giordano Bruno and concurred in the decision which condemned Bruno to be burned at the stake as a heretic. While Bellarmine was considered in two papal elections, his status as a Jesuit stood against him in the judgment of many of the cardinal electors. He is also widely remembered for his role in the Galileo affair. In 1616, on orders of Pope Paul V, Bellarmine summoned Galileo concerning a decree condemning the doctrine of Copernicus of the mobility of the earth and the immobility of the sun and ordered him to abandon it. Bellarmine did not believe heliocentrism could be supported 
because of lack of evidence, meaning the sun stayed in place. The Council of Trent prohibited interpreting scripture without the common consensus of the Holy Father. Otherwise, Bellman felt one should proceed with great care in explaining scriptures in, in explaining in scriptures that which seemed apparently contrary. One may not understand them otherwise without demonstrating them to be false and otherwise not explainable. Throughout, Robert's private life remained one of simplicity and austerity and he had a special devotion to Francis of Assisi, like his fellow Jesuit, now the Holy Father, Pope Francis. Robert was appointed Archbishop of Capua and was asked by the new Pope Paul V to become Prefect of the Vatican Library and a member of various Roman congregations. His moderate views on the temporary power of the papacy had alienated a previous Pope Sixth to the fifth, who died in 1590. This had been considered the cause for the delay in Bellarmine's canonization, which did not occur until 1930, although he had been declared venerable shortly after his death. Another public controversy was an exchange of letters with the English king over the Oath of Allegiance of 1606 requiring English Catholics to swear allegiance, allegiance to James I over the Pope. Here was a celebrated case of Protestant Calvinism versus Tridentine Catholicism. In his later life, Bellarmine withdrew from controversy and his writings turned instead to devotional topics. In 1621, he was allowed to retire to the Jesuit novitiate. Soon after, he died at age 79 on this date, September the 17th, 400 years ago in 1621. He was initially buried in the Jesuit Jesu church, but in 1923, the year he was beatified, his remains were transferred to the Church of St. Ignatius, next to those of the young Jesuit who had been a student of his and whose beatification he had furthered, namely St. Aloysius Gonzaga. In 1931, in view of his remarkable writings and systematic theology, he was named a doctor of the church a year after his canonization by Pope Pius XI. He is the patron saint of catechists, several academic institutions, and the Archdiocese of Cincinnati. St. Robert Bellarmine, pray that amidst controversy in the church, peace and understanding will win out through the guidance of the Holy Spirit.